Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanne, it's so lovely to have you here. Today I am doing my very first Ocado delivery. Now I watched the lovely Danita's channel and she did an Ocado, she's done a few Ocado shops actually and I've always been quite impressed with the prices because she gets huge discounts and everything and I was, so I messaged her and said how oh, you always get these good discounts and she said basically just register and then they'll first time you get 25% off and I did save 20 pounds what I'm going to do is at the end of the video I'm just going to do a quick scroll of the receipt it's set out a little bit different to regular they give you the actual savings better I think anyway but I'm hoping that I'm going to be really impressed with it and continue to order from them For those of you who don't know Ocado um, have their own range of food but then they also stock Marks and Spencer's food I would say the majority of like their basics range are the same price. I was just checking if that was them, it's not. Uh, they're the same price, so it's not too bad at all. There's a few things that are a little bit more expensive, or you, but you find that in other supermarkets, you might be able to get a good deal on one thing and you're not gonna get it on another. It swings and roundabouts. But I'm excited. This week, I'm not doing keto again because Martin is on the stag do at the moment. To, to be perfectly honest with you, I dropped a dress size and I've kind of stayed there and I've ordered the, a dress for the wedding that fits perfectly. So I don't need to gain and I don't necessarily need to lose, but I am going to um, do a little bit of a spurge again nearer the time just to kind of keep on top of it you know i always said from the off this is not about me being skinny it's just about me detoxing and just being a little bit smaller i'm very comfortable well i know that's not true i'm not very comfortable in my skin i'm learning to be comfortable in my skin so i'm going to start to embrace my god given curves and womanly figure and just roll with it because life's too short to not eat what you want to eat and like I said moderately um, so yeah the shopping I'm waiting on it it should be here any moment I'm going to whiz through all of that hit the notification bell make sure you subscribe because I have a mother of the bride dress try on some of the, there was only one dress that I was really like no that I don't like that it wasn't my colour wasn't it's beautiful beautiful dress it just wasn't for me the rest of it, it was a really tough choice to be honest with you. I have found the dress, which I am so, so happy and relieved about. So that you're not gonna see in the video, just because, spoiler, isn't it? Like, <laughs> we'll save that for the wedding day. But just to know that I have one sorted is amazing. So yeah, I'll be actually filming that video later. So when my hair and makeup looks the same, that's why. Like I said, Martin's on his stag do. I'm going to make sure that this opportunity is not wasted to get some stuff done. Right, I'm going to stop waffling because this is a shopping haul. And I'll bring you back when the food's arrived. Okay, it's all here now. There was no substitutions as well, which I love. Gosh, I, don't, I don't think they can see me filming. <laughs> Probably like, all right, love. <laughs> Right, I'm just, I don't know what order this is in and I've already seen that some things are smaller than I was expecting, but that's my own fault. I should have probably read it a bit better. Anyway, let's start off. First off, some baked beans. Like I said, the price is everything. Did I say your name? I don't think I did. The price is everything will be on the receipt at the end. I got some red kidney beans in chilli sauce. Doesn't want to focus today. Um, I got these are like three mini um, passatas. To be honest with you, I think they were the best price for the ones that were on what there. So if I have to use all three, it's not a problem. <laughs> it was only a pound and it's double strength so it should be all right I'll get another one you know um, and then I thought I'm gonna try this um, I've got two of these because obviously we would normally use a giant one but it says no added sugar which 
And I've not tried the Heinz Bolognese sauce. I'm a Dolmio girl, so I'm going to give that a go. And I'll let you know in the meals of the week what it's like. Got some, right, I hate saying pasta names. Torticoglioni. You will all know will be screaming, is that, is that? It looks like, um, like a rigatoni, but with, with ribs. Got me. You know I like my rigatoni. I'm just grabbing the next bag. This only got one thing in it. And it's some toilet roll. <laughs> right, I got two. I've got two um, packs of four waters. I didn't do the five, well they did do five litres but only, I think it was like Highland or Buxton or something like that and it was like £3.50 for a five litre bowl. I'm not paying that. So next bag. Right. Got Amelia. Some more of these. I buy them and then Lauren will sometimes say, have you got anything they can have for lunch? She always knows this pot needle, so she'll grab one. Uh, got some sage and onion stuffing. Sage and red onion stuffing mix. Got that, because I'm doing the boys a roast dinner when they come home on Sunday. I've got two loaves of their thick white super soft loaf. One will go in the freezer. I mean, it doesn't feel doesn't feel as soft as usual, but it's all right. A large chicken gravy. I got a, a chili con carne mix. Oh, blimey, these are really tiny, tiny, tiny little bananas. <laughs> Amelia's been eating like a banana and an apple every single day. So I'm having to keep stocked up on them kind of things. Right. Got six bags of the salt and vinegar hula hoops. And flame grilled steak McCoy's. I got fancied a little snack. When I was doing my shopping, I thought, oh yeah, over the weekend when I'm watching a movie. So I have ordered a salsa as well. They look nice. They're fancy ones, obviously. When we were on the Hindu, they bought out some, I think they were homemade um, tortillas with a salsa. Oh my gosh, it was so nice. I left it until last minute, so there's only two little chips left on the plate. Um, and you know when you've got massive regrets, it's like, oh, that was really nice. They're not gonna be like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're not gonna be like that, but they will probably be nice. I'll let you know. I got a tomato paste puree. Yep. Got some more crumpets. Amelia has been loving crumpets at the moment. It's a really, really mixed. I got a pack of the Rolo things. The kids are loving these, so I got them for their pudding. Plus they were on offer, so. And then Danita has been going on and on and on at me. She hasn't, that's a bit of dramatic. <laughs> She's been mentioned a few times about trying this milk. Um, the non-homogenized milk. So apparently it's supposed to be like milk, like you used to get from the milkman. So I'm going to give it a go anyway. I just got one of these. See if I like it. I don't know how, I don't know if it's got like a sealable. I'm not sure. Let me know, Danita, if it's got a sealable. What, what do I do with it? Don't know. Got some organic royal gala apples. I think there's six apples they, they they look okay i mean i i'm not I, it doesn't it didn't really bother me apples are apples um as long as i haven't got any nasties in them and like i said she's they're her probably her favorite ones the royal gala ones at the moment she'll go off them again soon don't worry got some 
Maris Pipers. I was just double checking there with Maris Pipers, but it says it in a small little bit just down here. It just says I can't add potatoes, and I thought you better not add. <laughs> Oh no, some of the things have fallen out. But I got another four pinter of milk, just in case no one else wants to, you can try that one. And I'm not sure if uh, JJ can be pregnant, I'm not sure. These have fallen out. I think they're all all right. I'll, I'll take them out of the packaging anyway to put them in the fridge, but I got some of the Muller Light chocolate fix layer things. I think they're all all right, they're still all there. Yeah, they're still all there. Um, Country Life Butter, that was the best sort of price out of the butters that was there. Uh, got some parsnips, I'm just going to add these into our roast. I've got some carrots as well somewhere. And then some British Honey Roast Lean Slices. I don't really like these ones. I like the air dried ham. I can't stand... Oh, I don't know, I don't like ham that looks perfect. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> right, got some garlic baguettes for Spear of Maze dinner. And then I got carrots. <laughs> I've got no room to put any of this. I don't know that's fake. Then I got the, I really like these yogurts, um, I don't know how to say that, extra creamy blueberry. Gosh, I wonder who that was, it's the next door neighbour's window cleaner. Um, blueberry one, I love, love blueberries, flavour's just so lovely. And then, I've not tried these ones before, um, extra creamy zesty lemon and lime. I thought I'd give those ones a go as well. Well, I thought we would give them one to go. Oh, that won't stand up. Why won't that stand up? Um, Getting there now. We just literally have no space at all. Right, I got two lots of um, mini fillets. I've got a larger pack and a smaller pack. I've got some sour cream. I've got two mince beefs. JJ won't eat these, um, but one of them we're having with the kids for us to get in those, and one of them we're having for a chili. But she won't eat mince at the moment. This is the vine ripened tomato salsa. That looks blinking delicious. With sweet red and orange plum tomatoes, fresh coriander, extra virgin olive oil, and lime. So I'll be having that with my little dip dip. Got a large cucumber. Oh, there you go. Wafer thin breaded ham. This is the kind of ham that I prefer. I don't know if you understand what I mean about the ham. Because I'm a little bit of a weirdo like that. And then a large um, whole chicken. I hate when they're in the bags, it's like, look, look. <laughs> oh, I don't like actually touching, it's so weird. Oh, I've got another bag here. This is my frozen bit. Got a large bag of chips to put in the freezer. Got a pepperoni, mozzarella and pesto pizza. I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, it does say new. I was going to say, I love the... Uh, the mozzarella and pesto one. I've never seen this one before, but it is new. That'd be why. And they were on offer as well. I got these for JJ and Daniel to have one night um, because like I said, she won't eat the mince stuff. So, and then obviously she's got some pizzas and other bits. Um, yeah. Then I got, I, this is the only place I've seen them on here. There's four bags of the frozen cauliflower rice so that when I go on the keto thing at least I've got some in the freezer and then I cannot remember whose channel I saw this on but my mouth was watering instantly 
it is so it's the crack one it's the double sun lover white chocolate mango sauce and coconut i mean that's not going to help with the waistline but it's a treat treat weekend i get so that is all shopping by the way like i said there was another pack of water just let me see who that is right so yeah um martin's away this weekend and i feel lost without him like i thoroughly like the hen weekend was absolutely fabulous but i really miss martin and i didn't sleep very well either so it's not going to be great at least i'm in my own bed though at least there's that today i'm going to put all this away and then i need to run to the shops with jj and then i'm just going to do a little lowdown by the way in case you're interested <laughs> And then I'm going to film my Mother of the Bride try on haul. There's only four dresses. Well, there's five dresses, but one of them I'm keeping. Um, so I'm only trying on four dresses. But you have to bear in mind that they're between 250 and £350 each. So it's a heck of a lot of money set up there. So could only manage to... Well, I've got five dresses. It's <laughs> a lot of money up there. I need to get them returned ASAP. So I'm going to do that try on today. So stay tuned for that video and let me know your thoughts. Obviously, they are still beautiful dresses. It's just that there was one that pipped it for me. Made me I felt comfortable, I felt good in it, so all good. Um, what else have we got going on? I'm, I'm good, do you know what? I'm going to have a bit of a pamper session tonight. I think I'm going to have a nice bubble bath, face mask, um, find a movie to watch. Yeah, just have a little bit of downtime. After I've done all the editing, of course. Anyway, I'm going to love and leave you there because otherwise I will fall for a whole vlog. <laughs> and I will catch up with you in the next video. Let me know um, if you've ordered from Ocado, what your favourite things are, any recommendations. If you know of any other good shops that do deliveries or anything like that that you want me to try out, I'm happy to give it a bash. Just found another chilli. <laughs> and done a little more in case you see it on the receipt <laughs> right bye and i'll catch up with you in the next one so lots and lots of love god bless oh.